Opel P1 experimental car. Much like it was in its day when it was uh, used, it still has the same paintwork, still the same applique stickers on it. It's very, very original. I bought it because I think it's a milestone, and I think it, it represents kind of where the world has been and where the world is going. Hi, I'm Evan McMullen. I'm the manager of Cosmopolitan Motors in Seattle, Washington. We specialize in automobiles of historical importance. Uh, on the test track in 1973, came in at 376 miles per gallon. I kind of questioned it. I, I thought, is this really the case? Is this really something that is true? And I did a little research on it, and certainly it was documented very, very well as being the car that, that did achieve that. And then the more I looked at it, the more I thought, this car isn't even that special. And this was owned by Shell uh, Oil Company. And it was a series of engineers who had done the work on it as part of a competition between themselves. And this was the one that finished the best. It is out of gear now, but it's well, still pretty any, dead. Any gas in the tube up here? Well, that's enough gas to drive it 10 miles. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was very representative of uh, ingenuity at the time and a little bit disappointing when you consider that the OPEC crisis initially happened in 1973, really when this car was uh, being formulated by these engineers. And here it is another uh, 15 years later, or excuse me, 25 years later, and we've still not been able to, uh, uh, 35 years later, come up with anything any better. It's You go back to Henry Ford's uh, original creation and it got 20 miles to the gallon easily. Here we are in 2008, and we're not able to achieve an average of 30 miles to the gallon in the United States. Certainly worldwide, it's maybe that, but not a lot better. Here's a car that got 10 times that much in someone's spare time in their garage. Why is it so impossible for us to achieve something like that today? It's a 1959 Opel Caravan. Uh, station wagon that's been modified into kind of a pickup look that uh, started off just as a uh, conventional passenger car. Uh, a modified uh, drive system and a heating system to vaporize the fuel. Ultra insulated and, and made quite lightweight, but still weighing in at 2,500 pounds. 2,500 pounds? Yeah. Which is not very light for a... It's not light at all, yeah. creator of this car uh, is very quick to discount its performance as being isolated for a track and not being something that can be done on an everyday basis. But I still think there's many things that can be learned from this car, even if there are only a few things that you can apply to a current modern car with all the conveniences that you would want. But what it does have is the ability to get tenfold the mileage that we're normally getting now. So certainly we could expect to achieve 100 miles per gallon, I would think. So the first thought that most people have is this really can't be true. And the next thought is sometimes a little bit of anger, that they're frustrated that there hasn't been more done from industry and from uh, government to try to enforce this kind of research.